Okay, um, it's a whole lot going on in the world today. Uh, it, it, you know, some of this stuff is just simply staggering and mind blowing and 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 shocking to say the least. Um, you, you know, your your fellow your fellow comedian Luell. Um, not sure if you've seen. And, and first and foremost, shout to to no, I call them Luell Lunell Lunell. 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 My apologies. First of all, shout to her, right? She has a brand ambassador deal with Fenty, Rihanna's company. She, she's out there modeling lingerie, 63 years old. But more shocking, she now has a, a OnlyFans account. And you literally- know, can, you, can you clarify, you know, because here's the, here's the, the separation and the, the, I don't want, uh, for lack of a better term, the, gap between married men, single men, and the young generation. You know, this uh members only or fan, what, what, what did you call only it? Fans. Only fans, yeah, only fans. What, what is that? Because I keep hearing that, you know, is that a, something that you set up where you, where you, 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 and I'm trying to, you know, get my mind wrapped around it because I've heard it. Uh, Cause I recently just, you know, I retired from porn, everything, man. I just had to, you know, I, I, I'm, I'm completely out the game. I hung up my porn Jersey, all of my stuff, you know, I've been married for, we just celebrated 20 years. So I'm completely out of the game. Is that where you get on and you sell pictures of yourself naked and you show different things and you try to get like a following? It's almost like a, 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 a Instagram for, for, uh, for lack of a better term, pornography or nudity. Is that what that is? I just want to make sure I fully understand. Okay. What, 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 what it is, is you got the right idea. But suppose it was, it was created as a, a platform where anybody, I don't care if you are a recording artist, if you are a traditional artist where you draw, okay. if you are somebody with talent, you can uh, go out there, do what you do, and you can have fans come and subscribe to your channel. And okay. you give them material that, you know, is exclusive to them because they are subscribing to you on a monthly basis. Now, what it has evolved into or what it's most known for is average Joe, mom, dad, people getting on there and selling very, very racy uh, uh, explicit photos and, and video content of themselves. And that's you know, what I've, that's what has become fortune. known to me. That's what's getting back to me. I don't, I, all that other stuff I haven't heard about, you know, trying to get backstage or back, you know, behind the scenes footage. I didn't hear that. I've just heard, you know, the stuff that you just said, you know, the naked and, you know, everybody, you know, almost like an adult, uh, sex tape site, you know, in, in that, in that vein. <laughs> That, that's kind of what it's become. Now, right. now, what, what is your thoughts? Like, is, is it because Lunell is 63 years old? This, this is this is this is a, a grown woman. And, mm -hmm. you know, she she's on there and she's rocking her her lingerie. She's up there with video of her in, 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 in a bath. And, and she's showing, she ain't showing the whole thing, but, but she's showing, you know, she got some tig old bitties. She ain't hey, there washing hilarious. herself and that. all that. I love that phrase, tig old bitties. Listen, let me tell you something about New Lail, man. I've been in this game for a long time. And, there, you know, very few comedians uh, that have been in this game that you can name that I don't know and that I uh, haven't had some type of personal experience with. And, uh I told this story to Lunel. I, I saw at the Laugh Factory. Uh, this was a while ago at Paul Mooney. They did a uh, memorial for Paul Mooney. But Lunel and I, it was it, three people. We were in a, in a uh, and I hope she doesn't get mad if she sees this or whatever. And I tell the story. I don't. I, 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 if she got a fans only page, I can't imagine her getting mad at this. I don't know if I said that right. But we were in a limousine and we had just taped Comic View, and we were on our way back to the hotel. It was Lunel, uh, 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 God rest his soul. Uh, What's the red comedian? He was red. Uh, uh, oh, I forget his name. I know uh, exactly. Uh, you talk uh, light skin brother. Ronaldo, Ronaldo Ray. Ronaldo Ray. There you go. There you go. It was, it was Lunel, Lunel, Ronaldo Ray, and me. We were in a limo, and it was pouring down raining. And we were on our way back to the hotel, and we were in a traffic jam. I never will forget this, and neither will Lunel. And she said, "I gotta pee. I gotta pee." And so uh, 
Ronaldo said, well, yeah, you better piss in your pocket, I mean, pee in your pants, because we ain't getting back to the hotel in a while. And we were like in bumper to bumper traffic. I'm not making this up. It was pouring down raining, not light raining, pouring down. Lunell pulled her pants down, stuck her ass out the door, opened the door, stuck her ass out the door and pissed. And Ronaldo looked at me and said, you see this bitch? She is actually pissing out the door. She pissed, pulled her pants up closer. And Ronaldo was like, well, you're not going to wipe. You're not going to do shit. You're just going to piss and then close the door. She said, you motherfucking right. So I said all that to say this. If she can do that in public, people watching it, did this fans only or whatever thing you're talking about, that's nothing for Lunell. If you can piss in public <laughs> and while it's raining, in a car with two guys. Oh, this is a piece of cake right here, man. In fact, uh, I wish she had somebody had recorded that. That that's what people would have paid to see on her fans. She'd have got so many subscribers from just showing that footage in itself. Yo, so hold on. <laughs> because even me hearing this story, I want to know. Did she wipe herself? No, nah, she didn't have anything to wipe herself. She pissed and and Pulled her clothes back up and set. And, and, and the crazy thing about it was after Ronaldo said that, when we started back, we just had like nothing that happened. We were talking about the show. We were the, it, it wasn't a big deal. So Lunell has always been a free spirit, man. I, I, and I've known Lunell 20 years, man. She's always been a free spirit person and uh, just and a nice person too. You know, mm. so uh, that's Lunell. Shout to Lunell. Shout to Lunell. And that's oh, a true goodness. story. That is a true, I remember it like it was yesterday. What's up, guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love. Make every move a power move. And I'll catch you all on the next video.